In this video, we will discuss the delete function of circular cube. Suppose we want to delete an element from a circular cube, then how it will be deleted? That we will see first. Here is a delete operation, delete function. You can see over here inside this function, first thing which we are checking is, we are checking the cube empty condition. So it is always necessary to check the cube empty condition first before deleting the op deleting any element from the cube. Because if the queue is empty, then there is no point in deleting any element from the queue. So first of all, we will check the queue empty condition. Queue empty is a function which I have written over here. It is user defined function. Here it is. The queue empty fun fun function. What is the condition in queue empty condition? Queue empty function. If front value is minus 1, if your front pointer is set to minus 1, then return 1. Return 1 means the queue is empty. 1 indicate queue is empty and 0 indicate queue is not empty. So, this is how we have written the queue empty condition. We simply check the value of front pointer. Front is minus 1, that means queue is empty. So, first of all, in my delete operation, before deleting any element, first of all, I will check if Q is empty. If Q is really empty, that means if this function returns the value 1, then I will simply say that Q is empty. I will display this message, Q is empty and I will come out of this function. But else, if the Q is not empty, that means something is there in the Q and now I want to delete that element from a Q, then how it will be? So for that, first of all, we will have a look at our queue. Let's say this is my queue, circular queue. With size equal to 3. I will have some elements in a queue. 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2. Size is 3. That means at the most 3 elements are allowed in a queue. So index is starting from 0. So, 0, 1, 2. That means 3 elements are allowed. Let's say elements are placed like this. 10, 20 and 30. Okay. Now, whenever you enter the elements in a queue, the last node will have, the last pointer will be the rear. Because at this end, the elements are inserted. And first element will be considered as the front element. If I make this circular queue as linear queue, same queue, I have just displayed it in linear fashion, then it will be 0, 1, 2, 10, 20, 30. Although it is circular, but I, for a better understanding of concept of front and rear, I am just redrawing it in a linear fashion. So, this will be the rear end. Okay, 30 element 30 will indicate the rear end and element 10 will indicate the front end. Fine. So, this is how your front and rear pointers will be placed. Now, since front is not 1, minus 1, it will enter in a else part because Q is not empty. Now, I want to delete the element from the Q. Now, as we know that always we delete the element from front pointer or front end. Whether it is a linear queue or whether it is a circular queue. We always eliminate or delete the element from the queue from the front end. So that means the element present at the front end will be removed. So which element will be removed or which element will be deleted at first? Yes, 10 will be removed. Fine. So let's move to the code. We will enter in the else part. In the else part, first of all, we are just getting or uh, storing the Q front element in item variable. We have taken one item variable. So, I will just show you the item variable. Here is my item variable. I will put that front element of the Q in item variable. What is that element? It is 10. So, item will have value as 10. Fine. Now, it will move to if. If front is equal to equal to rear. That means whatever is the value of front. Whether it is equal to, whether it is matching with the rear value, that is 2. No, 0 is not equal to 2 because front is 0 and rear is 2 which are not matching. 
since those are not matching it will enter in the else part what else part says else part says that make your front as new front value what is that new front value you have to make use of this formula what is that front plus 1 mod size so i'll put these values in that formula and get a new front value what will be the new front value new front value will be equal to current front what is current front current front value is 0 plus 1 mod size what is the size value size value is 3 so that means it is equal to 1 mod 3 1 mod 3 is nothing but 1 because mod operator gives us remainder value so if i divide my 1 by 3 so it will be remainder will be 1 only okay so that way i'll get new front value as 1 so i'll set my new front value to 1 so this won't be the front value now i'll just erase it okay what will be the new front value new front value will be 1 so i'll mark this as the front node so this will be my front node fine now it will come over here it will display the message on the output screen or on the console that the deleted item is item so on my output screen i'll have the message as deleted item is what is that the value of item what is there in the value of I, value of this variable item it is 10 so it will display me the deleted item is 10 okay in this manner it has logically deleted this element logically deleted means we have not physically deallocated memory or we have not overwritten value as minus 99 or 0 uh, something like that we have simply set our front pointer to the next location so my queue will be considered from front to rear this much okay this much queue will be considered although the value at 10 will be still present at zeroth location okay but we won't consider this value we will consider our queue from 1 to 2 okay this is called the logical division fine next time whenever the values whenever the deleted places to be occupied we will simply overwrite those values but right now we will consider a circular queue from front to rear in this manner so this is called logical division so since it is an array implementation of circular queue we are performing the logical division in this manner the first element of the queue circular queue is getting deleted suppose once again if i call my delete operation fine so now see there you is like this my front is pointing to 1 rear is pointing to 2 and now i have co called once again the delete operation once again when i call the delete operation first of all control will come over here it will check if queue is empty queue empty condition is checked by front pointer if front value is equal to minus 1 then that means queue is empty is front value minus 1 no it is 1 so since this condition is not true it will enter in a else part so at the else part it will check it will just first of all store the queue front value in item variable what is the value pointed by front pointer of the queue front pointer points to value 20 so 20 will get stored in a variable item so i'll have item variable over here in which i'll get the value as 20 current value fine now a control will come over here and it will check if front is equal to equal to rear my front value is 1 and rear value is 2 so both are not equal since both are not equal it will come to else part at the else part it will set my new front value by using this formula so new front value will be equal to what is that formula front plus 1 mod size current front plus 1 current front is 1 so 1 plus 1 mod size 1 plus 1 mod size will give me 2 mod 3 2 mod 3 means i'll get the answer as 3 2 only okay so my new front will be equal to 2 so i'll just shift my this front to the new front that is 2 so here it is pointing front as well 
once this job is done control will come over here and it will display the deleted item is item what is there in item 20 is the value stored in item so on my console i'll have the message as deleted element or deleted item is 20 fine in this way it is again logically deleting the second element as well why so because now my front will be considered from front to rear that means it is simply pointing to this single element that is present at index 2 that is element 30 fine in this way although the values are still present but we will simply ignore these values at those front location because now our front is being shifted from 0 to 2 okay so now front is 2 rear is 2 both are same that means both are pointing to only one element in the queue. Suppose once again if I call the front, uh, once again if I call the delete operation, what will happen? Now front is at pointing at index 2, rear is pointing at index 2. Control will come over here, it will check if Q is empty. Q is empty means if front equal to minus 1. Is my front value equal to minus 1? No, it is pointing to index 2. So, it is not minus 1. Since it is not minus 1, it indicates that my queue is still not empty. Something is present in my circular queue. So, control will come to else part. At the else part, the first statement is put the value in the item variable. What the value will be? The value will be pointed by the front pointer. So, front pointer is pointing value 30. So, 30 will be stored in my item variable. So, I will show you the item variable in which the value 30 has been stored. Fine. Now, it will come over here. It will check if front equal to equal to rear. Front equal to equal to rear? Yes, both are same. Front is 2. Rear is also 2. So, both are 2. So, it will enter in this if condition. If condition states that you adjust your front and rear to minus 1. That means reset your these values, whatever may be the value of front or rear, those will be now set to minus 1. So, straight away my front equal to minus 1 and rear equal to minus 1. So, I will have front equal to new front and new rear value will be equal to minus 1. So, now this won't be my front and rear point. Fine. So, up to this it will mark your front and rear as minus 1. Since this if is being executed, it won't enter in the else part. It will come, control will come directly to this printf statement. What this printf statement says? It says it displays the message the deleted item is percentage D. Whatever is there in item, that value it is displaying. So, the deleted item is. What is there in item? It is 30. So, it will display that deleted item is 30. So, this is how it has displayed 10, 20 and 30 even and control will come out of this delete statement. So, this is how it has again logically deleted the value 30 from the circular queue. Now, suppose once again if I call the queue empty sorry delete operation control will come over here. It will first check the queue empty condition. Q and empty condition says that you check the value of front if it is minus 1 sorry if it is over here if front value is equal to minus 1 then that means return 1 from the Q empty function. So from this function I will return the value 1 that is true since this expression comes out to be true it will enter in this part and it will display a message Q is empty. So now this time on my console, I will get a message, Q is empty that way. That means, if I try to remove or delete the element from the Q empty, whenever Q is empty, then it should display the message as Q is empty. In this way, the delete operation works. Now, we will execute this code and see how these uh, insertion and deletion operation of circular Q works. So, let us execute this code. No errors are there in this program. I will execute it. I will put some values to the output.
so i'll give the first choice as insert some element i'll insert some element let's say 10 i have inserted three element now i'll display the queue see the queue is getting displayed as 10 20 and 30 now i'll delete the element which element will get deleted 10 or 30 yes 10 will be deleted why so because 10 is a front pointer and 30 is the rear pointer so q will look like this this is the circular q in which we have stored three element so it will be 0 1 and 2 so 10 20 and 30 these are the elements 10 20 30 this is my front pointer and this is the rear pointer whenever we want to delete any element then the element at front end will get deleted so the element at front end is 10 so it should delete the element 10 fine so we will see whether it really deletes element 10 or not yes great it is deleting your 10 element and now we will check in the queue see in queue we have just logically deleted the 10 okay and now queue is displaying from 20 to 30 okay our new front will be this now this won't be the front value because it has been deleted. So front to rear will be considered as a queue. And that's why it is displaying 20, 30. That's it. Okay. Now we'll subsequently delete the elements in the queue. And we'll check whether it works or not. Now the deleted element is item is 20. Once again, I will try to delete it. Rather, I will see how, what are the data in my queue. See, only 30 is present. Okay, 10 and 20 is getting deleted. Once again, I will delete the element. It is now deleting the only remaining element that is 30. We will check what is there in the queue. Nothing is there in the queue. So, it is displaying the queue empty message. Suppose now Q is empty and still I try to delete the element by giving the choice as 2. Yes, it should display me that Q is empty. So it cannot perform delete operation. Fine. So in this manner, all the operations of circular Q are working perfect.